Mardi Gras on the river. We're counting down to the big weekend celebration complete with cocktails, costumes, and cake, too. Conditioning your mind, body, and soul with the help of farm animals. Yep, we're relaxing and meditating today with farm yoga session. We're going to tell you all about the benefits of this class. And spring forward with fresh looks that are on trend, we have the fashion forecast you need to know. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Nothing like a saxophone. Happy Terrific Tuesday, everybody. We are just one week away from Fat Tuesday. Ash Wednesday's a week from mm-hmm. tomorrow. So then Lent will begin. Lent yes. and all that. Mm-hmm. And guess is around the corner. But hey, it is Mardi Gras, and there is a big weekend planned here in town. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Garcia. Yes, Mardi Gras. It is time to start celebrating. And Ryan Wood, marketing manager with Mad Dogs British Pub, is here to have some fun cocktails fit for a royal masquerade. Good afternoon. Well, yes. You have got quite a little spread here, plus the beads. <laughs> plus the beads. Yeah, you, got, you can't have Mardi Gras without beads. Right? Exactly. So these are the three drinks we're going to be making. They are. Let's start with this one. This one is the Vuka Ray. This other is the OTB Hurricane. It's our On the Bend Hurricane, which is where our party is going to be at. And then next door is the King's Cake Shot. Woo! I love right. that. There's a drink that's in the, the glass. bend in the river right there. At the, I like that. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. And this one is called a Vukare. Vukare, correct. It's uh, it's it's hard to hard to pronounce sometimes. You read it as C A R R E, but it's it's a Vukare. V I E. Wouldn't it be cool? Uh, excuse me. Could I have another Vukare, please? <laughs> That's how we like Ryan, it. Ryan, you make me a you would. You, you know, would. we could. And we serve it neat or on the rocks. This here is going to be neat. So okay. that's the one that we're going to be preparing today. This is an easy cocktail that you can make at home. And that one's the Hurricane. You can make it okay. all by yourself. And the same thing, you're going to be making the shot for people so that you can make that at home. All right. So we're going to start with, with the... the starting over here. So we're going to start with a nice fancy glass. And then we're going to come over. We have a Jack Daniels rye. And we've pre-measured everything out into one-ounce shot glasses so that you can see how much of each of these liquors you're going to use. So it's a pretty simple uh, mm-hmm. recipe. Mm-hmm. It really is. You know, it may look more difficult, but it would start with our Jack Daniels rye whiskey. We're going to drop that one in the glass there. We're going to come back. This is Ciroc VS, which is a brandy. We're going to mix that one in as well. All right. Perfect. And then over here, we've got our sweet vermouth. And the sweet vermouth is going to go in as well. Again, as a neat drink, this is probably easier than a lot of your other drinks. We're just going to pour them together and mix it together easily. Okay. So this is Dom Benedictine. And what this is, uh, it's, a, it's a French liqueur. It's uh, 27 secret ingredients. Obviously, nobody knows. And we typically <laughs> only use a bar s- teaspoon, but we don't have our bar teaspoon here today. So that's why it looks like it's so little. What would be a replacement for yeah. that that somebody might have at home? Mm-hmm. That's going to be a tough one. It's, uh, it's oh, unique. Really? In fact, they've, oh. they've said that people have tried to imitate it for years and have never been able to do it. That was French monks. Imitate it, but never duplicate it. <laughs> Correct. So we're going to drop that one in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a nice little swirl. Okay. We're going to take over here, we have our bitters. So these are your two classic bitters. We have Peychaud's bitters and we have Angustura bitters. One is uh, typically used in your Manhattan, right? So we're mm-hmm. going to do two shakes of that one. It's cool looking, mm-hmm. too. I love that. There we are. And then we're going to use our Peychaud's bitters. And that one is... Uh, Two dashes as well. Oh, and okay. for a little hard. Everybody is always familiar with the hurricane. Yes, and we Correct. have about 90 seconds left, yeah. so let's get through this. So Perfect. I'm so going to throw yours. in the rum. White rum, you got it. Dump okay. it in there, and then you're going to dump in... The Ryan oh, Gosling. Definitely going to need a little <laughs> more ice thrown. That's there how we I are. remember And your Gosling's Black Seal rum, then you're going to... Fill equal parts of cranberry and orange juice. Tell me when. There you go. A little much. That's okay. We're going to dump in some orange. There we go. Now you're going to take your... Okay. So your amaretto, you're going to drop down on top. Ooh, okay, mm. and is it going to fit? There you go. There's your grenadine. I'm going to make yeah. it fit. <laughs> Perfect. So for our garnishes, we're going to drop you a cherry and an orange. There we are. Okay. And then over on my side, we're Mine going to use a, a Luxardo color. cherry. There's that. That's okay. And then we'll start over on your side. All so. right. This is the king's cake. This is. But and I'm going to come over and shot. get okay. you set up right. So oh, you've got some right. ice in here. This is vanilla vodka. That is vanilla vodka. All right. Here, go for it in Thanks. here. You're oh, going to build that entire build glass. There first. we go. Then we got some Grand Marnier. There you are. Yes. All right. And then the... 
Liquor 43. Liquor 43, which is a okay. Spanish liquor. And this is simple syrup. As we went over before, that's just half sugar, half water. And you can do that at home with a repurposed wine bottle. Even make it fancy for your for your party. A little bit of a shake here. Just a nice simple syrup. There Straight you go. Straight out. Into the glass it goes. <laughs> and the piece de resistance is whipped cream on top. There we go. Oh my gosh. Perfect. A, a dash of cinnamon, cinnamon for the cake cake color. And, and fancy Mardi Gras colors. You can get anything that makes you happy at home. Oh Perfect, my gosh. So Mad Dogs, of course, color. is the official after party for the Masquerade Gala this Friday featuring yes, these yeah. cocktails, right? That's going to be downstairs at On the Bend Oyster Bar, which is directly at the base of the Hyatt Regency, right next door to Mad Dogs. Okay. And the parade, uh, everything's going on. Basically, the fun starts at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Right? On Saturday, it starts at 1 o'clock. We have the, the gala on Friday evening. Then we have the after party on Saturday. You've got 1 to 6 is the festival, and the parade is from 4 to 6. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Lots of good food and everything, mm -hmm. too. You've got Lots a special. Lots of good foods, and we do have a special. For Saturday and Sunday, we've got our crawfish boiled down at On the, on the Bend, Ooh. and it's, it's going to be good. We're really looking forward to it. We've heard a lot of good feedback for it, so we're excited to do it. This is our first year that we're going to be doing this, and we're going to do a Saturday and Sunday for twelve ninety nine, or you can get a two-pound special. So for, here's the deal. You mm. drink the Vucare, and then you, you have your you crawfish You really want to taste that, right? No, with, with the hurricane, and then... For dessert, you have that. So, okay, there I will taste go. this. this looks really good, <laughs> I so. get to live vicariously through you. All right, there's Ooh. the information on screen. Mardi Gras River events, of Got course. Got a little kick to it. That's tasty. It does have a little kick to <laughs> it. It's Friday for the Masquerade Gala. Saturday, Mardi Gras River okay. Parade. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's going to be good when the front comes through here Sunday night and all that stuff. <laughs> anyway, hey, after Mardi Gras, of course, we count to Easter, and, of course, that means... Spring is in the air. Right? It's time to start talking about, I mean, Finally. I can't put the coats away yet, but spring fashions. <laughs> All right. And if you need a fashion forecast for the upcoming season, Leighton W. Couture has more on what's on trend. skip into spring, you want to put your best style foot forward. So here at the spring style forecast is Leighton W with Leighton W Couture. <laughs> Hi. So yeah, with spring style, it's not. It, there's going to be some familiar things. We're obviously going to see some florals. We're obviously going to see a lot of botanical things going on. I think this spring, though, is going to be about mixing unexpected things. So those florals with unexpected prints and just generally unexpected combinations. So with our first look on Gabby, we're doing the unexpected combination thing. At least a little unexpected for spring. All of the clothes that you're going to see in this segment are from Hemline San Antonio at Quarry Village, and they do a good job as it is of giving you some kind of unexpected combinations to play around with and work with, and that's what spring is going to be all about this season. So we've got this cool half-open knit sweater with this great striped pattern, the great bell sleeve, which, if you all remember from a previous segment, we were talking about the nods to the past of the 60s and 70s. We're still seeing that, and we're going to see it straight through the spring and summer as well. We've combined that with this cool kind of like a 90s trend camo skirt, which again, if you remember on another segment, we were talking about military trends. We're still seeing that. Combine that with just a simple booty, and I think that you're good. It's the perfect youthful spring look. So on Leah here, we have another great look from Hemline, and we're still kind of seeing those same things. A little bit of a nod to the 90s with this cool corduroy skirt here, but it's the color, and this is a color that you're going to start seeing a lot. It's something that's typically reserved for the winter, but we're we're going to start seeing these kind of dark faded jewel tones in the spring as well. But combine that with the go-to spring botanical type print and a sheer lightweight material like this robe, that's a great combination. Just pair that with a favorite t-shirt, any t-shirt. If it's a vintage fine t-shirt, thrift fine t-shirt, no matter what it is, just throw that on. Cool corduroy skirt, cool botanical robe, perfect spring look. <laughs> Wearing another look from Hemline in the Quarry Village, we've got this really awesome silk pant, go-to casual shirt shape so it's comfortable it's easy to wear but it's something that could transition really well from like a daytime springtime cocktail party to a dinner out depending on what you paired it with of course we have it kind of toned down today with this awesome vintage Judas Priest t-shirt and this great floral print robe it's got this great hand on embroidery you don't get to see that all the time anymore and still perfect for 
spring because you could throw this on over anything. So, and continuing with that really light, breezy, airy spring kind of vibe and continuing with the floral idea, we've got another look. This is a combined look, both from Hemline San Antonio and Leighton W. Couture. This is kind of getting us ready for that whole festival scene that's gonna be coming up any day now. Every field in Texas is gonna be filled with musicians and robes and spring floral dresses. This is a perfect look for that. So I've got this great top from Magnolia Pearl available at Hemline San Antonio. For those of you who don't know, Magnolia Pearl is a Texas designer and it is phenomenal. The top is just a dress from a previous collection from Leighton W. Couture that we're using is just a really cool springy robe in this case. We've paired that with a vintage leather belt with vintage coins and it's a short booty just like we've seen before. And it's an easy, easy, easy look and should be a go-to for the spring. Just think of things that make you think of the springtime and flowers and the sun and getting ready for the summer. Just do everything you can to go with that beautiful feminine daytime, have fun in the sun look. And again, all of these looks are available at Hemline and the Quarry Village in San Antonio. They will make this a lot easier for you. And tell folks how to find you. You can always find me at LeightonW.com and at the LeightonW on Instagram. And of course, we want to thank Rosella at the Rand here in downtown for having us out. And for more information on Leighton W Couture, just head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, relaxing with some farm yoga today on SA Live. We're talking about all the benefits of this outdoor class. And next on the show, getting artsy with a spring break camp perfect for those creative students looking to enhance their skills while having fun. We're getting a sneak peek after the break. Welcome back, everyone. Can you believe spring break begins weekend after this? Just about a week and a half mm. away. And Maker's Place up in Bernie is helping with a nice little camp for your little ones to use their art skills. And Alicia Mendez, owner and artist, joins us today to share some of the ideas for the upcoming spring break camp. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's right. We have a lot of fun stuff uh, planned for spring break. We've got the spring break camps, and then we've got, of course, adult classes like the one, uh, the butterfly and the cactus over there. Um, the camps are so much fun, and they're from 10 to 2, so it's an all-day kind of thing. Right. And if you live in San Antonio, Leon Springs, you could drop your kids off with us. We'll uh, give them some fun stuff to do. We'll give them a canvas. We'll give them a ceramic, and then we'll have a little craft uh, much and like a perfect what, excuse for you to go shopping. That's yes. right. That's right. A perfect and the Hill Country Mile. Exactly. And okay. the Hill Country Mile. And there's so much to do. Something for everybody. What are some of the things they're going to be doing here? What am I doing? So they'll do a canvas. So uh, these are some of the samples of the canvas. Like this um, fox will be on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. And um, so that day is kind of fox themed, right? Okay. So we have a little ceramic for them to choose from. And they can choose a fox or they can choose something else. And we'll also have a little craft much like this. So you've got the pieces to put together a fox, Mike. Okay. So the, this is the head here. Okay. So I just stick his Yeah, just kind of like smush it on there a little bit. There. Yep. Okay. And then you've got the ears there a little bit too. And it's it's supposed to look kind of like this. So once they um so once it's once, put together. Yes, then you can we put it in the oven mm -hmm. and then you get to paint it. Ah, so okay. if you'd like to start painting that, okay. that'd be pretty I shall. Fun. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take since this is a fox. Aren't foxes great? I mean, sorry, um, hold on. I'm gonna give it a little tuft. Usually they're red. A little or, little or tuft they... of a tuft of hair. Wait, no, that's I need to I need white. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> You were white for the silver fox here. <laughs> now, we, we definitely encourage creativity. So any color that you want to make in Fiona, you can make your fox silver if you like. Know. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if I call that encouraging creativity or not. But <laughs> I've mixed we'll, the gray and the we'll white, so now it's a right very here. nice silver. It's a very... It's a winter fox. That's what yes. it is. It's a winter fox. Yes. So during spring break... <laughs> Is there a camp every single day? There is a camp every single day. Um, it's Monday through Friday. 
And like I said, it's from 10 to 2. Um, and you can drop them off at uh, 9.45. And then, like you said, uh, go shopping. The, the, the day starts with us um, with a canvas. We start painting a canvas. Actually, let me, let me take that back. We start by making the little craft. Because mm -hmm. um, not everyone gets there at the same time. So we'll just kind of get together and get to know each other for the first couple of minutes. Then we move on to a canvas. And then at the end of the day, um, we'll, they'll finish by painting a little ceramic piece. Oh, okay. um, and of course, the ceramic pieces, they have to be fired and glazed. Um, so they have to stay with us for a few days. And then we'll text you in three, five days, and you get it back. And they look shiny and beautiful, kind of like a... And what, like, like that? Mm -hmm. What ages is it for? Oh, all ages. So we, um, we encourage six and up to come to the camps um, just because they can maintain their focus and enjoy a little bit more. Um, but any age can come to our um, studio and paint ceramics. You don't necessarily have to join the camp. We would definitely love for you to come and join us. Um, but like I said, ages six and up for the camp. Um, and then we don't provide a lunch, so you'd have to bring a lunch. Um, we do have snacks and plenty of water and stuff to drink from. I, look I, put, at little, you. I put a little smile on him. He's got a little Aww. smile. He's a happy little fox. You're going to make him gray. I, well, no, no. I made his oh, hair. Oh, his head gray. Okay. <laughs> his hair. The whole thing was going to be gray. No, so. no. And, of course, you have other classes, right? There are other classes. That's right. So, like, for example, this Friday we have the paint and pour. Um, and uh, that's really fun. I don't know if any of you guys have seen on YouTube. Um, you grab a different paints. There's a little bit of science to it. You grab some paints, you put it on a canvas, you lift the cup, that's called a dirty pour, and then you get these really beautiful marbling kind of looks. It's so much fun. I know it sounds really simple, but it's really fun. And then you kind of swirl it around? And, you can and swirl make it around. Yep, yep. Oh, that's it's the, very the cool. After school art classes, at after home art classes? After school art classes, homeschool. So if your kid does homeschool, they can come to us. You know, um, Usually we do those in the morning so that you can fit that in your schedule as well. And, you know, there's so many benefits to having art as a young age. You, you, you increase your focus, okay. your creativity. It's just great activity endless. for spring break. All right. And don't forget to sign up for spring break camp. Again, it is March 11th through the 15th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's 50 bucks a day, but you, if you register before March, you'll get five bucks off. Thank you very much, Alicia. Thank you. All right, you. still ahead on SA Live, we're getting a sneak peek at the Crockett Fiddle Fest with music from Roadside Libby. And from cooking to painting and so much more, we'll tell you more about Women Who Wander, an outdoor retreat and how you can sign up for the outdoor adventures. That's after the break. A new event is coming to the Texas Hill Country River Region at the end of March. It's called Women Who Wander, an outdoor retreat for women over 21 at any outdoor skill level. Annabelle McNew, Executive Director of Texas Hill Country River Region, is here to tell us a little more about it. And you brought a few activities We're with you to kind of show off. Um, women do all kinds of things at this retreat, you know, from yoga to cooking to painting. And we've got an artist here painting a picture. We do. We have B. Ibarra here from the Encina Art Center in Uvalde. And she is painting a beautiful riverscape. Um, so she is going to be teaching a beginner's acrylic art class. And they're going to be a plein air art class. They're going to be set up along the Frio River painting some beautiful beautiful pictures so we're excited about that and of course we also have cooking to show off we've got kate dunbar here i love this cooking with kate there we okay go. but this is kind of dutch cooking, this is right? how you cook outdoors mm -hmm. this is called camp dutch oven mm -hmm. cooking and i'm going to be teaching the class on how to utilize all of these products to make some amazing meals like that sausage and chicken jambalaya over there Woo. Ooh, that looks so good. It is. It's fantastic. And I'm really excited to teach women of all ages how to improve their cooking skills outside or how to maybe learn some new skills. Oh, and I love everything you've got going on over here. Everything's mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. um, you know, try to not keep too many things coming out of a box or foil packets. Cooking real food with real bright flavors is everything that I'm going to do. All right. So we've got cooking. We've got painting. We even have yoga at this retreat. And it is being held where and when? It is in Concan on March 29th through the 31st, and everybody is just going to kind of stay throughout the area. There's a lot of 
a lot of activities at Frio Country Resort and then they'll kind of spread out throughout the Frio Canyon after that and we've got paddle boarding, archery, skeet shooting, yoga, self-defense, outdoor photography. We've got the Texas Highways Magazine is bringing some contributors to provide some really neat experiences as well. So we've just kind of got something for everyone. We've got meditation, kayaking, did I say that already? Hiking. No, there's so, so we've much. Got, we've got a lot. We've I mean, got you say something for from everyone. everyone. Yeah. I mean, you really do really? that. <laughs> really the gamut. Um, where can folks stay while they're attending? They can stay all over. So um, like I said, Frio Country Resort is where everybody will kind of the sort of headquarters, but then there is not a bad place to stay. We've got a wonderful group of lodging partners that are all offering discounts for lodging for participants. So those are all on our website at womenwhowandertexas.com. And uh, we're just encourage everybody to sign up soon and book their lodging. It's going to be fun. All right. And there, as you mentioned, there is a special deal for SA Live viewers right now. You can get a 15% discount on registration for the Women Who Wander Outdoor Retreat. All you have to do is just enter the code SA Live online at womenwhowandertexas.com. So once again, 15% discount on registration for the Women Who Wander Outdoor Retreat. Just enter the code SA Live online at womenwhowandertexas.com. And if you can't make it to the retreat, visit Uvalde County anyway. They have all kinds of attractions from the Frio Bat Cave to cuisine at the Laurel Tree or the Hangar 6 Air Cafe to outdoor adventures on the Frio River. You can plan your trip online at visit uvaldecounty.com. Still ahead, five bands, free family fun, and it's all in front of the Alamo. We're getting a sneak peek of the Fiddle Fest with Roadside Libby a little later. And relaxing your body, soul, and mind with the help of farm animals. We're de-stressing with farm yoga right after the break. You know, what could be more relaxing than nice yoga? Well, <laughs> could have asked for better timing than that. <laughs> That's right. How about goat yoga? <laughs> hey, ask it, I shall receive. Go, go to me. Really? Wow, you guys were fairly quiet. Okay, there. Coco Dravidia with Farm Yoga is here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, introduce, introduce the three babies. We'll get this out of the way first of all. Well, uh, this is Oreo, the one that you're holding. Okay. And Teeny and Winnie. Oh, <laughs> These are the new addition to Farm Yoga. And they're only a couple of months old, right? Only a couple of weeks old. Only a couple of weeks old? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're just brand new babies. Yes, yeah, they're brand so new. Oh, okay. They are brand new babies. So... Farm yoga. Mm -hmm. Some people are thinking, what? What, what is what, that? What are the benefits of farm yoga? I mean, when you have a little goat here that's screaming and crying and all. Oh, so. yeah. Well, you know, we all know the benefits of just yoga itself, right. which is like balance and finding your center and all that. And then what we want to do is just add to that, add farm animals. So it's like taking you out to like nature, reconnecting you with nature, okay. making you feel what it's like to be out there. You know, taking you out of the hustle and bustle of the city. So instead of just being in a yoga studio and you're just kind of out there. And, outdoors, and it's outdoors, you know, surrounded by all these farm animals. And it's just, okay. it's, a, it's an experience. So what are some of the, the yoga, I saw the one picture with the, the woman standing like this, uh -huh. holding the goat. I know right. goats are good for calming racehorses before yes. races. And they're and, good for and calming people? Absolutely, yes. So they're also known... To give like common effects, like for example, if people have anxiety, mm -hmm. that's something that they help out too. Or, you know, also people like with PTSD and uh, just holding the animal is so very therapeutic. PTSD. It, so yes, it's sir. just having, I mean, not having to deal with people basically and just having this and that can just kind of. Just a calming experience, yes. Okay. What, are, what are some of the yoga moves that I can do? Okay, with the, well, with why the don't goat? we have oh. you sit down, okay. get on all fours. Okay. We can hold you that. Hold my goat. <laughs> All right. And so this exercise, this yoga pose is really for balance. Why do I feel like I'm back and in college all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're working on your balance right there. Okay, my balance. Right? There we go. On all, all fours. Right. And then at the same time. And the goat is on my back. Yes. Okay. Stay up there. Yeah. Oh, no. Hop, hop back up and there. And so 
what we're trying to do yes. right there is balance yourself, balance the goat on top of you. Right. Don't move. I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hop. There Come you go. Come here. You Come know here. what, Mike? And uh, goats is not the only animal that is therapeutic. There's we also chickens. A, thera a therapeutic chicken. Okay. Yes. So here we go. Okay. What's his name? So this is Snow White. Snow White. Okay. <laughs> so did she and get on my back too? She can get on your back too, Mike. Okay. And uh, we're also been using our chickens. We take them sometimes. Well, I'm a physical therapist assistant. Okay. So shout out to all my friends over there at... Uh, Inspiration Hills, but anyways, um, and we take them to nursing homes also, okay. just to um, just promote wellness and take them to the you know older folks. Okay. And they, you know, it's very therapeutic for them just to. Speaking hold of them. chickens, you have a farm yoga 5K chicken run or walk coming up this Saturday in Castroville, starts that at eight o'clock, followed mm -hmm. by a 10 a.m. farm yoga class. And for more information on that, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I have found my chakra right now with the. Chicken on my back. You can add your Okay, there we go. Thank you very much, Coco. <laughs> Appreciate it. Next on SA Live, the sounds of Roadside Libby. They are giving us a sneak peek at what you'll experience at the Fiddle Fest this weekend. Remembering the Alamo with great music from Western Swing, Bluegrass, and Old Time Country. You can enjoy it all at the 6th Annual Crockett Fiddle Fest. And the best part, it's free. One of the bands featured this Sunday will be Roadside Libby. And today, they perform their song, Whiskey, from their album, Eve. Take it away.
Hook yourself up, turn around and head back to town You're not broke down You'll be headed down the wrong track You can reach your dreams, I know that you'll be coming back So just take a right turn Again, the Crockett Fiddle Fest is this Sunday in front of the Alamo. It's an all-day free event, and you can enjoy several bands, including Roadside Libby. We'll be right back with more after this. Well, if you're looking to lose weight and get healthy, you can improve not only your health, but your outlook and your life by getting to the root of your health problems. And the Institute for Functional Health can help you with that. Dr. Jacob Torres is here with me today to talk about what separates the Institute for Functional Health from other clinics. Thank you hey. so much for being here. Uh, great to be here. So let's get right into that. Right. What makes the Institute different? You know, so we have a very unique blend of different providers. So we have from medical providers to natural providers all under the same roof. So, you know, we always take the more, more natural natural, more conservative approach first. But like you mentioned earlier, the biggest thing for us that separates us from everybody is we get to the root cause of people's problems. So we're not about masking symptoms, uh, masking issues, giving medication after medication, really getting to the root cause of people's problems so that we can provide them a roadmap. That way they can get correct everything at the root. And, and, and getting to the root of that problem can really alleviate in the future the need for, you know, to be overly medicated, course, so to speak. Uh, so who benefits from coming to see you? You know, people that are usually going to be frustrated with, you know, not feeling well, uh, you know, they know something's off. Maybe they're tired of being on the same regimen of medications over time, you know. Most of the time, Fiona, we're struggling with issues of being medicated with problems that we are creating ourselves. But most of the time, people don't know what is creating their problems. So that's where we come into play. We do all the investigative work. We do some very in-depth testing. And that way we can get to the root cause and we provide a roadmap. So if people are struggling with health issues such as acid reflux, low uh, hypothyroidism, low testosterone, um, you know, digestive issues, energy, sleep, there's a reason for it and we definitely provide a roadmap on how to fix it naturally. And there is a patient you want to tell right. us about and her specific journey, Rocio right. Mejias. Right. Tell us a little bit about her. You know, so what really hit, struck a note for me when I first met with her was she, her, her underlying why, why she wanted to correct things was because she wanted to be a role model for her family. You know, she had already been diagnosed with certain ailments. You know, we did her lab work. She had a fatty liver. She was diabetic, which was the thing that she really wanted to avoid. You know, she was reluctant to take medications. And, you know, we were able to tell her this is what we needed, to, what needed to happen. This is your roadmap now. She was able to follow it. And then the proof is in the pudding. She's here to share her story. And she is standing by with Mike right, right. now. This is Rocio. And this whole roadmap, this whole journey began, you said, last August, right? Correct. And you lost how much weight? 40 pounds. In how long a time? Three months. That's it. Yes. Now, since that three months, has it been easy to keep the weight off? Absolutely. And plus, I became more active. So now I'm going to the gym daily. I'm doing 5K runs. So my whole lifestyle has changed since I went to the Institute for Functional Health. And you no longer are diabetic. I am no longer diabetic. Um, I got it reversed in those three months. And not only that, I am now the wellness coordinator for my job. And I wanted to make a difference in my life and my family. Um, Especially? My son. So my son was a little bit on the heavier side as well. He joined me in this journey, and he himself has lost 40 pounds. At, at 16 years old, he's at lost At 16 it. years old. So you are doing it, again, not just for yourself, but, but for him. So it's not a matter of do as I say, not as I do. It's, you got to do as you do, and you've got to set the example for him, Correct. right? Correct, yes. Okay, well, fantastic. Thank you. All right, and we do have a, a little uh, video here, right? Yes, Go there's ahead. a there's a special deal for the first 30 SA Live viewers right. to call or text. What do they get? Yes, for sure. So they're going to get one of our e-guides. We have a whole bunch of e-guides that we offer people that's free for everyone. It gives them a lot of tips and some uh, and a footprint, so that way they can kind of start creating their own journey for success as well. So if they just text the word info to the number on the screen, 210-987-8971, they'll get a free guide and also be able to reserve their consultation. Our spots do fill up fairly quickly, so come on in. There's uh, no fee. Just come in here. Just tell Tell us what's going on. Tell us what your goals are. So hopefully you can be another story just like what was for us as well. All right, perfect. And there's the information on your screen. Again, the phone number 210-987-8971 or head to IFFHealth.com. 
www.ncpsoundtrack.com. Dr. Torres Rocio, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Goat. Goat oh. and chicken on my back on live TV. <laughs> check and check. So that's off my bucket list now. So. Yes, and the chicken okay. that matched your hair. <laughs> that's a double check. <laughs> and white hair you. chicken. You're so. going to miss okay. me when I'm on maternity leave. <laughs> I know you are. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for watching today. We're going to leave you with one more song from Roadside Libby. Remember... The Crack and Fiddle Fest, uh, Sunday, the Alamo Free Event. Several bands are going to be there. For more information, go to salive.com. All right, and here they are performing their song, Whiskey. Take it away, Roadside Libby. Silent to the world, oh, drinking through.